Hello, and welcome to Glambia's Dairy Focus. With the breeding season at full swing, it's important not to forget about the milk that is being produced. So, let's go to a few timely reminders from our milk quality team. Hello, I'm Eamon Tomaski, Milk Quality Manager with Glambia Ireland. As we head into the summer months and towards peak production, it's critically important that we remain focused on milk quality. What I want to focus on today is TBCs. A key area in controlling TBC on farms is a properly functioning bug tank. With most bug tanks now operating an automatic wash system, it's very easy for an improperly washed tank to go unnoticed for a period of time. This will lead to a huge spike in TBCs. So for this reason, it's critically important that after each collection, we visually inspect the internal surfaces of the tank. So ensuring that the wash cycle is fully completed and using a good quality torch, visually inspect all internal surfaces, paying particular attention to any potential blind spots, such as the back of your agitator paddles or the tank outlet. If any buildup is noted, this can indicate a failure at some point along the wash cycle. If possible, observe the tank as it goes through a full wash cycle. Things to watch out for are, is the washer sucking up detergent? Is the water hot enough? Is the water building up enough pressure to properly wash the surfaces of the tank? And is all rinse water being pumped out of the tank between cycles? If any issue is noted with the wash cycle, it's critically important that you report it to your service engineer as soon as possible so the problem can be fixed. Glambia Ireland has partnered with Chagask in the newly launched Signpost program. And if you would like more information on the Signpost program, please click on the link below the video. With calves now turned out the grass, the focus shifts towards parasite control in our youngstock. In order for our youngstock to calf down at two years of age, growth targets have to be hit through the first and second grazing season. And gut and stomach worms are important reasons why calves are not hitting those growth targets. If you're measuring the weight gain of your calves through the grazing seasons and you notice that growth rates are below where you would like them to be, check a pool dung sample for fecal egg count testing in your calves to see if they have been excessively exposed to parasites. If that is the case, treatment of that group of animals is absolutely warranted in order to prevent worse effects from the parasites. Now, which product to choose is very farm dependent and is specific to the way you manage your calves. Some of these products are very long acting, but the very long acting products that maybe give you 10, 12 weeks of cover or even season long cover against summer corms are designed for those groups of animals that remain on the same block of land throughout the treatment or throughout the grazing season. And they have to stay on that block of land, otherwise they have the potential of spreading anthelmintic resistance to the rest of the grazing platform. If that's not the way you manage your calves, look at using different products that are shorter acting and still work very well, especially if calves are moving to various different parts of the grazing platform. If you can, turn your calves out to clean paddocks, such as reseeded land or silage land, and definitely not land that was grazed by youngstock in the second half of last year's grazing season. If you want any more information on parasite control in youngstock, please click on this video uh, to watch a more detailed overview. If you want any more information on any of the topics covered in this episode, please talk to your local Glambia representative or log on to glambiaconnect.com.